eat protein powder they said it will help you build muscle and hit all your protein goals for the day but what they don't tell you is that it tastes like wet cement chocolate wet cement horns up and welcome to my unimpressive weight loss transformation if you're new here welcome to headbangers kitchen my name is sahil i'm a death metal musician and i'm also the author of the recipe book called keto life and watch till the end of this video to find out how you can win a copy of my book and i will also announce the winner of last week's giveaway so watch till the end my friends and of course do smash that like button for the youtube algorithm basically when you hit the like button youtube knows that this is a good video and it shows it to other people so smash that like button good morning guys it's the first day of my cut and i weighed myself this morning and i was 69.5 kilos and i've got my breakfast here with me i've got myself a delicious ham sandwich and i made this using some protein bread which i normally don't buy because it doesn't taste as good as the real bread that you know dipti makes which obviously is my preferred choice of bread but it has a little more protein so this meal is about 250 calories and it's got about 17 grams of protein in it and i'm going to go enjoy my breakfast now and i'll catch up with you later but of course ham sandwich mm I mean it's okay the bread's not bad but it's really expensive and I'm not even sure why I bought it but I'm going to eat it anyway So the tea has made some egg plan for her lunch and she also made some okra and potatoes and i'm boiling some broccoli for myself uh, in uh, beef and chicken stock and i've got my boiled chicken my white rice and i'm going to make a curry sauce as well and i've got some beef for dinner so yeah my meal prep is on the way and It's raining once again so well, that is a good thing cuz we need the rains but yeah it's a gloomy day tasting the eggplant that dipti has made is delicious i should get the recipe and do a headbangers kitchen episode also tasting her potato and okra with some onions That's so good. Mmm. Yum. Anyway, I better go cook my lunch now. Believe it or not folks I could not finish my lunch. Let me tell you 100 grams of broccoli fills you up quite fast. So I've only eaten half my lunch. I'm going to eat the rest of it probably as an evening snack and once I'm done eating it that's a 450 calorie meal with 41 grams of protein. Why do people honk so much in this city? It's unbelievably loud. Gang 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 gang. Here is my evening protein shake and here is some beef that I made for the wraps tonight for the gains and nothing else this is definitely not for pleasure It's a little better than last time because I added some cocoa powder a little more stevia and a coffee shot so I'm going to go and drink this now yeah maybe I'll just go back to sandwiches in the evening it's just more enjoyable but anyway till the protein powder gets over i guess i can occasionally drink this and suffer through it mm. only halfway through the shake this is really filling i got to find another way to consume this protein powder 
I think I'm going to try to make my own recipe for protein cookies. I'll try it tomorrow maybe. I have a few ideas. Let's see if it works out. And day one has come to an end. I had a good workout session in the gym and I came home and I had a beef wrap for dinner. Just a tortilla wrap with some beef in it, some coleslaw and that's it. And I had some watermelon for dessert and I also had a little bit of yogurt. So my dinner was like about 470 odd calories and with my snacks and protein shake and lunch and everything I've eaten about 1450 calories today which is pretty good that puts me in like a I guess a 200 calorie deficit and I've actually really gone overboard on the protein today. My goal is about 122 grams but I've actually got 137 grams uh, today. But I guess it'll be a little less tomorrow because I won't have the protein shake since I'm not going to the gym. I might just have a sandwich or a boiled egg or something. I don't know. I'll figure that out tomorrow. But anyway, I'm going to go crash now and I'll check in with you later. I decided I was going to try and make protein cookies instead of drinking that protein shake and I thought to myself since I'm making the cookies why not film it for a recipe video in case it comes out well. Yeah, small problem. The cookie batter or the dough rather seemed very thick so I added some almond milk into it and then it turned into like liquid like it was a batter. So now protein cookies have become protein cake and it's actually in the oven. I don't know if this is going to be good or bad, but if it's good, you'll get the recipe soon on Headbangers Kitchen. If it's bad, you won't see it and I'll just have to eat my mistake. Anyway, yeah, that's what's happened today. Hey guys, the protein cookie that I was trying to make which turned into a cake does not look very good it does not taste good either it tastes like sandpaper and it's like difficult to swallow dip did you want to taste it just bite a big chunk of that off Are you trying to punch me for something no it is wow it's like it's got the texture of asphalt yeah, I'm not taking a chunk. No way. Whoa. And the, the texture of compressed foam. Yeah. If you cooked cardboard, <laughs> that's exactly how it would taste. <laughs> oh, that was one disaster. Oh, wow. Like eating mattress stuffing. I think this is in close competition with the uh, Greg Doucette protein cookies that I had uh, eaten during his challenge that I did. I think maybe leave the baking to me next time. Yeah, maybe. And anyway, that's a waste of protein powder and ingredients. I'm going to have to throw this at the annoying birds that make a lot of noise. Okay. Disaster is struck. Bye-bye. Good morning guys. I've still got protein powder left so today I'm going to try and make a better tasting protein shake. But you know the funny thing about yesterday's protein cake disaster was that the batter actually tasted good. So that gives me some hope that there is potential to make something tasty. But I think I'm not really going to try and do anything more with protein powder once this bag that I've got finishes. Once that's over I'm done with protein powder. Anyway, that's enough jibber jabber. I'll check in with you later. So Dipti has bought some Snickers and I am actually going to take a very large bite of this. But... Stop blaming Dipti for everything. You don't have to eat her stuff. <laughs> but Dipti buying stuff. 
<laughs> I want to eat. Stop eating my stuff. This is 10 grams of Snickers. That's 46 calories there and I'm going to log it. I weighed it out. 10 grams, 46 calories. Is it worth it? Probably not worth it. But I'll eat it anyway. Since I wrote it down. 46 calories. Hey guys, it's time for another protein shake. And I managed to cut my finger with the knife earlier today. So that hurt. And I ate a few Dhoklas that Dipti was kind enough to buy for me. And uh, what are we doing Dipti? We're cleaning kilos and kilos of coriander that someone very kindly bought. Yes, because we're having uh, some pork tonight in wraps and I wanted to make like a banh mi version of a pork wrap. So needed the coriander for that, but it was a lot of coriander. So yeah, and we got some pickling vegetables here and yeah, let's taste this delicious new recipe for protein shake. This is actually the best protein shake I've ever made. It okay. actually tastes like hot chocolate it's got coffee it's got almond butter and it's got protein powder and stevia sounds like a fat bomb it's actually delicious no it's not a fat bomb because why do you refuse my protein shakes because i have taste okay anyway this is not too bad i'm going to actually i want to say enjoy yeah i can enjoy this anyway later Another day has come to a close. For dinner, I had a delicious banh mi inspired pork tenderloin wrap. And trust me, it was so delicious. I'm going to make it more often. Like it was banging and so simple. So anyway, that was dinner. I had some watermelon for dessert. Uh, so today I actually had about 1650 calories so I pretty much ate as many calories as I needed no deficit today uh, but that's okay tomorrow will be a different story but anyway I'm gonna go now and I'll catch you tomorrow I'm going to watch Loki what are you guys watching on Netflix or whatever program you watch things on what's the cool new show that I should be watching let me know anyway gonna go watch Loki now bye So Dipti has made, what is this pasta called Dipti? It's just a creamy garlic prawn pasta. It's a creamy garlic prawn pasta and she has made this pasta from scratch. What is this? Fettuccine? Yes, linguine. Linguine. And yeah, can't wait to taste. Wow. Like this is comparable to the pasta that we ate in Italy. Why oh, is so good. Does it have bags of flavor? It's got bags and bags of flavor. Watching a lot of Master Chef, so. Sorry. All that sound comes into the absolutely delicious pasta. Wow. It's amazing. Anyway, we're gonna go and enjoy dinner now. So I've kind of had like half a protein shake today. Uh, it's not as tasty as the one I made on Wednesday, but I tried to kind of make this like a pudding by putting agar agar in it, but I don't think I left it to set for enough time. So another protein shake mess, uh, but I can only drink half. I'm like quite full. I had a bit of bread as a snack. So yeah, 
I'm just gonna leave this for maybe tomorrow or day after I don't know but I'm not gonna force it down when I'm not feeling hungry so I'm gonna put this away now and go to the gym and get a workout in so I might have accidentally made protein ice cream because I was trying to cool this in the freezer and this little part here is like icy mm. it's like protein ice cream it's a bit watery and yeah not the best ice cream yeah I'm just waiting for this bag of protein powder to get over I think there's maybe like one and a half scoops left please remind me never to buy protein powder again also remind me to not buy that protein bread it was okay but I really should stop buying these things they're just they're not that good yeah bye So one of my aunts has started making and selling bread and she sent me this delicious loaf to try out. It looks pretty good if you ask me. And that's her, uh, it's called Baker at Maker. So if you want to order, you can check them out on Instagram. Pretty good looking bread if you ask me. Oh yeah. And just like that my friends another week is over and before I say anything else I can already see the defenders of protein powder in action typing out comments saying protein powder rocks you are a fool you don't know how to use it guys relax I'm joking around I'm sure protein powder has its place in certain people's diets it has its uses and there are a lot of people who probably love that stuff but unfortunately I'm not one of those people so you know don't take my words to heart I'm just being goofy like I always am so because I've still got protein powder in the in the cupboard which I need to use up and I've got some of that protein shake which I tried to set as a protein jelly which is still in the fridge so I will eat it I won't waste it I won't let the protein warriors down because gains anyway I weighed myself this morning and I was 69.5 kilos so I lost a hundred grams which is I think 0.4 pounds so basically this really is my unimpressive weight loss transformation that is a very unimpressive amount of weight to lose in a week but you know what um, it is what it is right and look guys I'm not doing this series to impress you to show you how quickly I can lose weight and how quickly I can get muscle and how I can go from a, a flabby stomach to six pack abs no uh, I'm just here trying to be a better version of myself you know at the end of the day I want to be better today than I was yesterday I want to live a happy and fulfilling life I don't want to have stress anxiety I don't want to also have heart disease which is why I work out and do cardio and I eat as best as I can you know so that's what I aim to do with this series and you know what it's okay and speaking of okay I hope you are all okay let me know how your week has been did you make any progress how are you feeling is is everything good with you are you happy with life are you happy not enough people ask that question are you guys happy I'm definitely happy and I hope you are too now for the coming week I will do my weight training as I've been doing I don't have a meal plan for this week yet in fact I'm planning to film four new recipes I'm going to give my dad a call and tell him to come and taste the dishes so this week looks to be fairly busy but I will still exercise portion control and moderation and hopefully you know progress will be made surely surely I don't know what I'm doing but hopefully progress will be made slowly and surely it's the moment you've all been waiting for ladies and gentlemen it's time to announce the person who has won my book keto life and the winner of last week's giveaway is mary duff congratulations mary you won a copy of my book keto life and just send me an email on headbangerskitchen at gmail.com so i can send you your copy of the book 
Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week, same time, same place for another episode of my unimpressive weight loss transformation. Until then, cheers and keep cooking. Hit that like button so that YouTube knows my shiz is dope.